I'm, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. That was inappropriate. Totally inappropriate. No, no. I mean, yes, it was. Of course it was. But it's understandable. What's wrong with me? Nothing. Nothing at all. You said so yourself. You work in a prison. You feel anxious, restless, almost like you're locked up there yourself half the time. You have urges. So many urges. Let's try to move past this, shall we? Can we move past this? I think so. Just to be clear, this is all confidential, right? Of course, just you and me. I just can't move past it. I've tried, believe me, Doc, but... She was vulnerable, confused. That's what I told her. Should I have kissed her back, do you think? No. No. No, of course not. This is all confidential, right? Doctor, patient. Just you and me. You're judging me, aren't you? No. Of course not. Why would you? You're a professional. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. We've been through this before, Dave. You don't need my or anyone's approval. You don't have to please everyone. Maybe that's why you're having so much trouble getting past this. She was also very attractive. Well, no judgment here. Of course I was judging him. Wouldn't you? He broke every code in the book. What is it with these goddamn millennials? 40 years in this business, you don't think I haven't had patience. Women throwing themselves at me. Men. I have willpower. I have discipline. I have self-control. Maybe too much control? I'm gonna report him. Somebody's gotta do it. It might as well be me. He's a disgrace to the profession. This license used to mean something. Is this about him, Grant? Or, and bear with me here, is this more about you? It's about doing what's right. You know what's not right? Putting your nose where it doesn't belong. He tried to get his patient fired. Of course he'd do the same to his therapist if he found out. So I've got a drinking problem. There, I said it. Mr. Morality over there could probably smell it on me. Look, some drinks need coffee. I drink wine between patients. I mean, sad stories, the narcissism, the trauma dumping. I'm tired. I just, it's too much sometimes. It's like either I feel everything or nothing. There's no in between. Drinking is the only thing that makes it all bearable. Hey, I'm no therapist, but it sounds like maybe drinking isn't your main problem. Yeah, well, that's none of your business. You can drop me off right here. One star. She gave me one star. After all that, I mean, I got her home, didn't I? It's not like I got into another accident. Which was not my fault, by the way. I and mean, what if I went to RateMyTherapist.com and gave her a bad review? Tell everyone if she drinks on the job? See how she likes it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 there's a spot. It's no wonder you're so stiff. Just relax. I'm relaxed. My neck is just stiff because some asshole drunk driver decided to- Rear end you. I remember. You've only brought it up every session for the last six months. Just relax. Be calm. Uh, well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one in pain every time you look to the left. You don't see those bright headlights, that big, dumb, selfish face barreling at you every time you look in the rearview mirror, You're you know? holding on to so much tension. It's like, uh, it's like that Disney movie. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. You want me to forget what he did? Just like that? You know, my mother used to tell me, you don't have to forget in order to forgive. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. I have tried, but I can't stop thinking about him. Picturing him and his broad, sweaty shoulders. 
his wicked stiff neck, his hair in all the wrong places. I know it's wrong, but it feels so right. It's an addiction, you know? I mean, not like Coke or Oxy or iced coffees, you know? You can't OD on dirty thoughts. Can you? I thought if I made touching my job, I wouldn't crave it so hard. Don't get me wrong, Father. I would never do anything without consent. I'm a gentleman, after all. But God, do I want to so bad. All the touching and rubbing, squeezing. It would just be so much easier to stop if I wasn't such a good lover. I'm like a gazelle. Tell me, Father, if you were a magical cock that made everybody feel better, wouldn't you want to keep using it? Well, maybe you're not the right person to ask. No offense, Father. He didn't even wait for me to give him his penance. Most days, I feel like I'm invisible, like I'm not even in the room. People don't want to talk to me. They want to talk to God. They want God's voice warming their hearts and souls. Not mine. Me? I'm a ghost. I barely exist. All those years I was searching for purpose. Now, I think I just want to be seen. I know exactly what you mean. Are you coming to bed, Father? Or should I call you Daddy? If it's okay, I'd prefer to just talk tonight. <laughs> Praise the Lord. At least he didn't quote any Bible verses. Long night? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> oh. Hello, lovebirds. Don't approve? Don't believe. All this talk about unconditional love, but I don't think it exists. Even God isn't so all-loving if he sends you to hell. No, nothing in this world is free. Everything is an exchange. Whether someone wants to fuck you or talk to you, everything has its price. Even you. You're only talking to me right now because I'm buying a drink. Mm. Oh, sorry. How much again? Don't worry about it. It's on the house. And star. Apparently, I give out too many free drinks. Whatever, maybe it's a good thing I got fired. I was already thinking about going back home. So much for my dream of becoming a musician. Molly, you are a musician. I'm a bartender. Or I was. That doesn't mean you're not still a musician. You know what I mean. I'm 30 years old. I've been at this for over a decade and still have nothing to show for myself. I thought I was going to be this superstar, but how do I actually spend my days? Serving Grey Goose to alcoholics who then proceed to hit on me? I tried. I really tried. But the truth is, not everyone makes it, and sometimes you just have to know when to give up. Damn. This is good. Who is this? It's me. Fuck off. Seriously? What'd you think I was just a hairstylist? Molly saw me as this great success story. But my mom, she still sees me as nothing. Less than nothing. You know she hasn't spoken to me in ten years? Pick a card.
Is it bad? Nothing's bad. I'm sensing it may be time. Time? Time for what? To talk to my mom? Is, is that what the card says? Eight of cups signifies abandonment. Does that resonate with you? Of course I feel abandoned. That was a mistake. Now the blue, she calls me expecting everything to be okay? Well, it's not. If I were you, I'd try to be less fearful of talking to your mother and more afraid of becoming her. He thought his mother was bad. She's a saint compared to me. I still have nightmares about that night. I turned my back, couldn't have been more than five seconds. My little girl was already in the street. That fucking SUV came out of nowhere. In my dreams, I'm the one driving the SUV. The diazepam isn't helping? I haven't had a decent night's sleep since the accident. I keep taking on more and more clients, thinking maybe if I can help them, maybe I'll feel less, <laughs> you know. Grief is a long process. What about guilt? How long does that last? Sometimes I don't have an answer. It scares the shit out of me. I want to believe I'm helping them, but I don't think I am. Honestly, I'm not sure I should even call myself a therapist. You have a diploma and a license that says you are. I got lucky. My school was a joke. Well, your patients keep coming back. They must at least feel that you're helping them, no? I mean, isn't that enough? They just haven't realized it yet. What, that you're fooling them into thinking you're this great authority when you're not? I mean, this is classic imposter syndrome. As a therapist yourself, you know it's very common among high achievers to doubt their abilities. Who am I to be listened to, to tell someone else what's right, what's wrong, what's really going on? Do they really see me for what I am? Exactly, I feel like a fraud. It's natural. We all feel that way sometimes, even me. You ever heard that saying, <clears throat> doctors are their own worst patients? We are all human. We all make mistakes. We're all just trying to do the best we can. None of that makes you a fraud, understand? Donald McKinley? Yes? You're under arrest for fraudulently practicing mental health therapy without a license. We're gonna need you to come with us. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Donald McKinley, currently serving a 13-year sentence for multiple felony counts of practicing a healthcare profession without a license, a scheme to defraud and fraudulent use of a mental health therapy counselor title. It says here even your glasses were fake. Not everything was a lie, you know. Talk to me about it. That's what I'm here for. This is all confidential, right? Just you and me. Handed you my heart a long time ago. You kept it safe for it to grow.
ride on.